All right, so we are actually 134 nautical miles to Norwood. Norwood is right outside Boston, I believe. Yeah, yeah. about okay. 15 miles south of Boston. All right. And uh, it should take about, uh, what, 45 minutes to get up? Um, the GPS is showing an hour and uh, 15 minutes, roughly, to get up there using 13.7. Uh, okay. So, like I said before, Ron is at the controls this evening. Yeah. And I'll be doing the radio, uh, handling the radio. And uh, we have just one backseat passenger today. Public Towers, Cessna 8012. Okay, clear to land, 8012. This will be the longest like in a while, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. The aircraft type. We'll hold a short runway one niner. And once we take off, we're going to commence a left turn, climb up to about 3,000 feet. Once we get over to Northport Stacks, clear of the class Delta airspace, practically, we'll contact New York Approach for flight following. Got 10,000 there. Yeah, I'm I don't think we can bring it down to 3,000. Uh, I guess once we get out to North Post, we climb it to about uh, 5,500. Is that? Yeah. That's okay. Fine. Airspeed alive, engine in the green. 40, 45. 50, 55. Rotate. Uh, we got a nice smooth takeoff. Republic Tower, Cherokee 43813, holding short, Bravo, runway 19, ready for takeoff. Let me know if that's too loud. All right. Cherokee 43813, right, you got 500 Tower, feet. Hold short, runway 19. And we are off the ground at, let's just. November 5, Charlie Charlie, say altitude climbing to? 615. Oh, 1500, 1500. Five Charlie Charlie. Five Charlie Charlie, Roger. Oh, Tower, Hawker 99 Alpha Pop's on the visual for uh, one night. Hawker 99 Alpha Pop Republic Tower, 1600 till advised. All right, we'll maintain 1.6 till advised. Cessna 68 Bravo, 1100 till advised. 1100, 68 Bravo. All right, maintain 1100. Hey, pull your power back there. Niner Alpha Pop, you familiar with the LIE? The Long Island Expressway 495, that's uh, Hawker uh, Alpha Pop. Hawker Niner Alpha Pop, affirmative. I'm left base over the LIE and maintain 1,600 until you're established on final traffic. Is a Cherokee currently off your left side, 1,200 feet north eastbound? Okay, we'll uh, continue on this heading until we get to the LIE and then uh, right turn for 1 9. That'd be a left turn 1 9. I'm sorry, disoriented. Left turn, liberal side. Got a three Delta Charlie taxi to Echo. A little hazier than I expected. Taxi to Echo, oh, yeah. three Delta Charlie, and we'll, we'll stay with you. Chestnut 6 a Bravo, traffic is a hawker off your 3 o'clock in about 2 miles. They're northbound, they're going to be a left base of the LAE. Once you, ha once, you pass, pass, once you pass underneath them, altitude your discretion. All right, I got the hawker in sight, and uh, Roger, 6 a Bravo. Niner Alpha Pop, you can start turning it inbound now. Yes, sir, we're in the turn. Hawker Alpha Pop. Thank you. Traffic. Gotcha. Oh, it's lit up nicely. All right, you can uh, continue your climb. Clear, Niner Alpha Pop, spacing's good. Runway 19 are clear to land. You can further descent now, your discretion. Okay, I understand, and we're clear to land on 1-9, and that's Hawker 99 Alpha Pop. Thank you. All right, a little break in the cockpit. Leon. We're at 5,500. November 1868, Bravo, leaving New York City Space Clock VFR, Tri-Providence 119.45. 
All right, we will contact Providence on 119.45. That's a 6 8 Bravo. Good day. 82 is your job. It's 4373 on the squad. 4373, zero, zero, zero. All right, so he just, uh, ATC just turned us over. Actually, he just uh, got rid of us. Are we going to contact Providence for continued flight following? Let me know when you have the frequency in there. All right, frequency is tuned. Uh, Providence approach, Cessna 1868 Bravo. 1868 Bravo, Prompt. Uh, 1868 Bravo 5500, uh, request VFR flight following to Norwood. Uh, who's that? I don't know, but we can tell them where we are. Okay. 68 Bravo, squad 0363. 0363, Cessna 68 Bravo. 03. We got a new squad code in the box. Didn't write it down, so make sure you got it. 0363. Yep. And we're going to wait for him to come back, give us uh, radar uh, confirmation. November 68, Bravo, radar contact, a mile north of Chester, prompt altimeter 3038, maintain VFR. We'll maintain VFR. Hey, Josh. What are you doing again back there? I think. You gotta speak into the mic, cause we can't hear you. What you say? How are you doing? Good. It's not scary. Well, it shouldn't be scary. Yeah, I'm flying. <laughs> oh, Rohan's at the control. The You're in good hands. Okay. Not with Allstate, but with Rohan. November 819er, contact Boston Approach, 118.2. What do you think so far? 118.2 Boston Approach. I would approach, do this a lot if I could. Bit. Would what? A lot. Oh, okay. Oh. We almost there. Another 30 minutes, so we'll be on the ground shortly. 30 minutes? Yeah, another 30 minutes. We, we're moving up mock speed here. Warp speed, I should say. Seems like we're, like, not even moving. Yeah, we're on here. We're going to step on the gas a little bit more for you. Oh, no, you don't have to do that. <laughs> all right, since it's winter time and uh, our freezing levels go all the way down to the ground, I'm just doing a little ice check on the uh, outside surfaces of the airplane. Take a look at small surfaces first. Take a look at the pedo tube. Yeah, I don't know if it's there, but uh, just shine the light. Look for a little ice on the leading edge, uh, on the leading edge of the wing as well. Looking for frost, looking for ice. Right now we look good. We're pretty clear, so I don't have to make any uh, alternatives. Wonderful. So the outside air temperature is showing at zero. Negative zero, is there such a thing? Uh, negative zero. Negative zero. Wow. Zero is just zero. Yeah, my students are not going to like this. They're, they're going to question that one. But they're going to question it, right? Yep. I've never seen a negative zero before. But when we get up to Norwood, we're going to go ahead and top off the tanks once more since it's night. And uh, we just want to be safe to make sure we have extra gas for. Any in-flight emergency. Let's switch it over to the right tank, just to balance things Okay, up. so Ron's go ahead and switch the tank. Okay, this is our uh, our fuel tank switch here. Okay, right now we're burning from both tanks. Show that we have a 53 capacity. In both. On the uh, fuel gauge, it's showing that uh, we're a little bit lower on the left side, so I'm gonna switch right and monitor that. In state, um, if anything, we could back to uh, both. And so switching right. Uh, 465, descend maintain. All right. right 3,000. 3, so we're now sucking, uh, uh, burning off of the right tank. Fine. Good, I got the mic in here, the old Cessna mic. Yeah, I remember Which that. no one ever uses. But I didn't have my headset so many years ago. That was my, uh, that was my mic. I used to use it when I, when we, uh, over 10 years ago. <laughs> but uh, those days are over, practically. <laughs> uh, so we are just uh, west of Norwich, Connecticut. According to the map, let me just uh, zoom in here. Hey, you got East Brooklyn over here. Everywhere in the United States is a damn Brooklyn. (laughs) 
Bet you somewhere in uh, Brooklyn there's a Flatbush. Me too. All right, not much, that. right. All right, so we at 5,500. We just contact uh, right. Providence Approach. We are turned over from New York Approach. Uh, cruising along nicely. Our fuel is good. Uh, engine instruments are good. We're uh, holding about 2,600 uh, RPMs. And uh, we are on course to Norwood. And Rohan over here it may shoot an approach, so he can go ahead and explain. Hey, okay, so uh, probably going to uh, shoot an approach into Norwood. Uh, I looked up their plates earlier. have uh, two approaches into runway 35. Uh, GPS approach and uh, an ILS uh, localizer approach into runway 35. Okay, it's just looking over. Right now it's in night mode, so uh, the plate's all blacked out. But uh, there's a ton of information here. On the plate itself, we have our uh, localizer frequency. Our approach course will be uh, 350. Uh, landing useful runway uh, distance is 4,000 feet, which is roughly about a mile. Uh, our touchdowns, are, uh, touchdowns elevation is uh, 49 feet, which is equal to the airport elevation. Uh, we got some frequencies, the ATIS, uh, Boston approach if we need it, uh, Norwood Tower, and ground. Once we're on the ground, we'll uh, switch over to ground control for taxi clearance. Um, you know, it's pretty simple. Um, All right. Sounds like fun. Right now we estimate 35 minutes in route. And uh, ground speed is 118 Bravo, knots. Bravo, change my frequency, 123.67. 123.67, Cessna 6 Bravo. Now we got just uh, got turned over to another controller. Uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, six, seven, and just hit. All right, we'll have to hold a five. Yeah. Okay. All right. Providence, good evening. Cessna six eight Bravo with you, five thousand five hundred. Cessna six eight Bravo, thanks. And this airplane has autopilot. Six eight Bravo is a really nice airplane. Uh, it has the autopilot. We are an altitude hold and navigation hold. Now uh, the nav hold will pretty much track this line all the way into uh, Norwood. Going our uh, desired track to 066. Uh, we have a little crosswind from the left here. Uh, the plane's also managing P factor. So if you look at our attitude indicator, it looks like uh, we're turning a little bit right. That's uh, all compensation for uh, turn on the engine. his in-flight coffee. Let's see what, what you got down there, buddy. Uh, my in-flight coffee. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts specialty. Uh, I see. Roasted almond. Roasted uh, almond? Roasted almond. Never heard of that. Unsweetened. With Sweet? With one skim milk in there so it doesn't change the flavor. Uh, oh, I like it. Are you one of those guys that walk up to the barista and say, give me uh, part skim milk and part regular <laughs> milk and a, a touch of heat and all that nonsense? And, and a sprinkle of cinnamon. Yeah, I was like, get out of here. Ab absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> that is so annoying. Just give me a coffee. There you go. There you go. All right. I like the container. Thank you. Um, this I got off uh, Amazon some years ago. It's a uh, thermos. Uh, it's made by thermos. And it's, uh, what is that, six and a half hour heat. And, oh, very uh, nice. About eight One, two, eight point seven five. Good night. Whenever you're ready. Yeah, all right. So you're going to, we're going to reach the mixture. Let me get the fuel back to both. Okay. All right, fuel's going back to both. We're running off both tanks. Okay. okay we're on both. And I'm just going to enrich the mixture here. We're rich. And then we're going to start our descent. Uh, let's see here. Uh, it's going to pull us back a little bit so I don't go into the red. Oh, okay. And we do a gradual descent. You can just drop that down to about 3,500. Oh, okay. Wow. So the altitude, yeah. Oh. I always reach for this one. It's fine. I do the same thing. 35. 35 or so, yeah. And then we sort of descend here. Uh, altitude. Just the altitude and then 500 feet per minute. Yep. Oh. And that should all right, so we start our gradual descent here down to 3,500 feet from 5,500. We are 20, 19 miles from uh, Norwood. Nine minutes. Beautiful night here over Rhode Island. Hard to 
see with the uh, with the darkness. Very smooth night. Very smooth night. Oh, uh, we already got the Aedis uh, uh, Mason here from uh, Norwood. And the line I runway three five. And pattern altitude is one thousand forty nine. Yep. And I guess we're all gonna sneak an approach in there. A little practice approach. A little practice approach to runway three five. Right now passing through five thousand, going down to three thousand five hundred. Uh, we are ready to taxi. Mike X, we're leaving runway 35, taxi via Delta and Alpha. Taxi via Delta and Alpha for the runway 35. Snow with Tower, good evening. Cessna 1868 Bravo with you uh, about 10 miles south west inbound with Alpha. 1868 Bravo, no Tower, report a three mile final for runway 35. A three mile final for 35, Cessna 1868 Bravo. Okay, so we contact the tower. We're gonna to report to three miles inbound for the runway 35. And uh, right now we're down to 3,005. So I guess uh, uh, 10 nautical miles out. Uh, pretty good. See the field? Uh, should be dead straight ahead, but yeah. I mean, you may want to come in with a little bit more power there. It was, That's it right there. Yeah. Yeah, there's the tower. So I guess you can start your gradual descent down to 1,049. One, you can just... Uh, yeah, just turn. Good. Okay, there's our runway going that way. Okay, so we got Here your we go. Mike X, airport the airport inside. Departure frequency is 120.6, squawk is 3460. Uh, Mike, can you uh, read that transmission, please? Departure frequency 120.6, squawk is 3460 for Charlie Golf, Mike X-Ray Lima. Charlie Golf, Mike X-Ray Lima, uh, was clocking 3460, and the frequency is 120.6. Uh, All right, then go over to before, the landing checklist. Just gonna pull that out. Oh, okay. All right, got the before landing checklist, pilots and passengers, seat backs, seat belts. Up and lock. All right, uh, fuel selector. Fuel's on both. Sure. Make sure it's full rich. Landing and taxi lights. Uh, lights are on. And autopilot, you can either leave it on or you can take it off and fly manually. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's changed to 120.6, correction, 126.0. 126.0, Mike, you sure you Uh, 6-8 Bravo, 3 miles. Got to turn and come back. 6 Bravo, runway 35, clear to land, wind calm. Clear to land, runway 35, so 6-8 Bravo. Alright. Alright, we're 12, you can kill the autopilot. Okay, you can take off the autopilot? Yes, okay. Autopilot disengage. Two and a half mile left base, runway 35, clear for takeoff. Hey, give me five ten. All right, coming in ten degrees. Sorry, folks, about the darkness. Hey, he's not so sorry. GoPro sucks in the night. I have twenty. And flaps twenty coming in. Motion takes use. And got the runway coming up here. Minimums. 
minimums. Thank you, ma'am. And full flaps coming in. So high, but just bring your power out. Keep your nose down. Yeah, always, always. yeah just keep that nose down. All right, bring that nose up a little. Here you go. Nice. You go. Just keep it. Hold it off. There you go. Charlie, taxi to the ramp, this frequency. Left on Charlie, uh, taxi to the ramp, 668 Bravo. Okay, uh, let's just see here, take these strobes off, and... Uh, We touched down at 7.30. Okay, after landing, wing flaps are up. Yep. Lights is required. Yep. Okay. Oh, we got to figure out where the hell we going. Over here to the right. So we the tower. Let me yeah. Just, uh, just yeah. stand by one side. Uh, bring it to a stop. Uh, Tower, uh, flight level Norwood, is that to our right or to the left? To your left, uh, just before the uh, shell sign. Thank you very much, sir. Six, 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 Go ahead, and then you, uh, you clear left, uh, just continue. Cut it right. Okay. All right, we're here, and let's do a shutdown. You can pull the parking brakes on there. Parking brakes set. Throttle. Make the idle. Back to idle. Uh huh. Hey, uh, electrical equipment. Hey, Josh. Say hi to the folks on YouTube. Hi. Yeah, we're here doing the regular routine. Stop for coffee. Yeah. Fill up. Coffee. So we try to go to the airport restaurant on the side of that. It is crowded. Here, so we just decided to 180 out of there. Grab something to go, something hot. More yeah. than the better. And we're limited on time. What time? Uh, what time are they closing up tonight? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Wow. Yeah. I didn't want to fly this late because I fully knew it was going to close. I thought the restaurant would be closed, but they have to know it's closing. And uh, that kind of bummed because uh, now we get out of here and get back to Brock. You turn. Yeah. I can get a lot of coffee. <laughs> we got Mills Coffee Roaster. Yeah. So I've got to figure this out. Dark Roast Sumatra. Uh -huh. We got iced coffee. Wow. Uh -huh. But where's the ice? Uh, maybe cools it down for it. it. Uh, who knows? Uh, so I do coffee. I'm going to do 50-50 bread. I'm going to do a donut shop. Ah, uh, good stuff. 